As part of the liquid learning experience that we have with the students here, today students have been playing a simulation. In this simulation, they've been part of the cabinet of different ministers for one day. The idea with this simulation is to put in practice everything that they have seen throughout the year, all the policies, theories, and all the variables and things that they have been working together to make them to be able to make decisions on economic policies. So the experience right now is actually going great. It really shows sort of the different cultures and how there's a different clash between ideas and how we can work with that instead of against it. So we're seeing sort of cooperations between ideas and it's honestly really helpful because it gives us a different perspective on how we think of economics as students. We were working together as a team to try to organize economic plans and economic structures for imaginary country. After we make all of the decisions that range from environmental budgets, education budgets and health budgets, we would see the effects that our decisions had on the country, on their GDP, on their inflation. What we're doing is we're learning by doing and we're putting all what we learned in class to an actual physical simulation and see the outcomes and the benefits of the real world problems. I think the students enjoy the simulation. They have a very good performance. I think they learn a lot about economic policy, doing economic policy. In a simulation, you, the process is learning by doing and it's the center of the simulation is the student, not the, the professor. We pass for a traditional way of strategic learning to a more innovative participant-centered learning. I hope to do another exercise in the future.